Sarah from Adventure Geek and this week I'm bringing you seven things, yes seven things you should always, always, always have in your backpack whether you're on a day hike, a little three mile jaunt or even if you're on a long trail. So bear with me as I hold on to my hat, I'm going for a walk and I'll talk to you about these seven things. See you in a sec. He is huge, absolutely huge. Okay, so first things first, before I actually go into gadgets and stuff like that, I just need to say number one is to make sure you've downloaded your maps onto your phone. It doesn't matter what app you're using. I personally use All Trails OS maps and for long distance hikes it's either hiker or gut hook but all of those um, walks even if I'm just doing a little local walk like I am today I will download them to my phone so that I've got them available offline I learned that mistake the hard way um, and talking of electronics as well I always make sure I've got a, a battery power pack that's always fully charged so this is um, this is a solar one which is probably not so good in the UK um, but yeah, I have a, a little solar 26,000 milliamp. Even when I'm on a little hike like this, I've always got that in my pack. Don't forget your charger. And the other thing, I, I'm a bit paranoid about running out of charge. So I also have in my little ditty bag, another little power pack, which is a Belkin uh, power pack. And this also charges not just your phone with a, a uh, power cable but also charges my watch so I've always got ad additional navigation on my watch if anything if anything actually happens to my phone so that's the Belkin power pack so I'll put links to all these things down below uh, but that's item number one is just be prepared with regards to your electronics download your maps and make sure you've always got at least one backup uh, in your pack so that's item number one let's crack on with item number two is a water filter so I use the Catadyne B3 water filter because you just never know um, I've always got a spare one just in my in my bag just in case so a Catadyne B3 or any water filter or just a spare bottle or a spare bottle of water because you never know if it's a hot day you might have had a leak uh, on your bottle of water or whatever it's always worth having uh, a water filter so you keep that in your bag right let's crack on I've got a horse literally just there let me show you I haven't quite mastered walking with this pole yet it still seems all over the place is that better is that smooth really windy out here today but actually you know what blows away the cobwebs and it's lovely like you see it's meant to be lovely and bright and sunny well it was when I left now it's a little bit grey and horrible item number three is a raincoat or something to uh, make sure that it keeps something to keep you dry whether it's an umbrella I've always got my umbrella with me um, or a poncho I've always got a poncho in there I ended up this weekend was out for a walk and uh, one of my walkers hadn't got a raincoat it wasn't forecast rain but it absolutely tipped it down so I gave him my umbrella uh, while I with my poncho on so save the day always be prepared like a good boy scout or a, a girl guide and make sure that you've got some sort of rain kit in your pack at all times. So item number four is you always need to have emergency food or snacks in your pack. Uh, my favourite are things like Snickers, uh, M&M's, Mars bars, something like that that I've always got 
I've always got a big box of sweets in my pack for when I'm out leading walks. Um, but I also, on a longer hike, I have trail mix. If you're interested to know what goes into uh, my trail mix, then let me know and I'll perhaps do a video on that, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I've got all sorts of things from cranberries to um, m and mango strips, nuts, all sorts of different things. I put it in a big box and then I scoop it out and I do little bags like this that I take for uh, my everyday. So yeah, uh, snacks is number four on the list. Don't forget your snacks. Snacks. Cracking through these now. So number five is an additional mid layer. So in my backpack, I've always got either a fleece or some sort of jumper or, or an extra layer that I can put on if the weather turns. And also it's not just for me. So if um, you know, I see somebody and something's happened, we had one guy once who accidentally fell in a river. I don't know why I'm laughing because it wasn't funny at the time, but you know, he hadn't got an extra layer of clothes and just sticking another jumper on him. Uh, yeah, it could have saved his life. It didn't, it didn't die. That sounds really bad. So I'll start that one again. <laughs> I think I'd better add. Alright, so number six of things that you should always carry is Dyneema bags but it is a poop kit so um, something that's lightweight because you never want to get caught short so I'm just going to go through what I have in my poop kit um, I have hand sanitizer we all know is really important I have uh, some loo roll I have some little plastic uh, sanitary bags you just never know it's a good place to put your poop kit as well and also to uh, dig my cat hole, I have a deuce of spades trowel as well. Really lightweight, it's good for digging a cat hole if you really do need to go. And the last thing, actually I've got two more things in here. I've got some dog poo bags, it's always good to take your uh, trash away. And I also have some, have you seen these? These are like compression towels, so they look like extra strong mints. Uh, but you put some water on them and they expand and they become wipes. Um, so yeah, if you're in dire need, they're really quite handy as well. I use those a few times. So yeah, poop kit is number six on the list. Just getting to the end of my walk and the sun comes out. Typical, isn't it? But I've got some fabulous uh, views. I'll give you a pan of uh, where we are at the moment it's absolutely gorgeous but anyway let's get on to the last one which is number seven um, and number seven is something i've just briefly shown you when i was opening my poop cat poop cat poop kit um, and that is some sort of trash bag or some sort of uh, stuff where to put your rubbish especially if you've got you know sticky sweet wrappers and things like that you want to make sure you always take it home with you leave no trace and all that so please make sure number seven that you always have some sort of whether it's a dog poo bag or whether it's uh, an, you know, an ikea ziploc bag or whatever make sure you take your trash home with you that's item number seven I've actually got two little bonus ones, but I'll do that when I get back to the van. All right, catch you in a sec. I've got two more things that you should always have in your pack. Really, it goes without saying. The first one is a first aid kit. I've got quite a big first aid kit for my club walks. And I've got, if I'm doing a through hike or a, a long section hike, uh, then I'll just take a small little first aid kit, which is really just for myself. And the second one is a personal location beacon. If you're responsible for people uh, on a walk, you should always have one of these with you, no matter what, even if it's a three mile hike. Um, but a personal location beacon, if you're on a big hike as well, should always be a staple in your rucksack. So literally, if you've got no GPS or no mobile phone signal, you can just press a button and you've got mountain rescue will be there, um, hopefully soon. So that's me signing out for another week. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to get outside, get inspired, go take hike when you can. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Ta-da. Bye-bye.